Today we will start with our first chart itself. You have seen in the introduction what uh, Flood can do and you, now you will learn how to do this by yourself. One of the most important things if you want to work with the Internet Explorer 9 is this line. Otherwise you wouldn't see anything on this one. The HTML code which is in this is simple and easy. Standard HTML as you can see here. We have we have a, a, a header line and we have a title and okay that's it. Somewhere on the screen you want to show the chart and this is done by placing a placeholder. I love the name placeholder. You can take whatever name you want to later on. You only have to address this correctly. Everything we will show is done with JavaScript and therefore we have to add the information which libraries of JavaScript should be used. Let's go back to the point that you might have to support older versions of Internet Explorer. In this case you have to add Oh, wait a second, it's not working funny. So, here it is. You have to, work, have to add the canvas, which is a beautiful tool for a browser which was not as beautiful as it is. Okay. Anything you want to show is done with JavaScript. I like to move this JavaScript to the end. Here. Yep. And, oh, by the way, it's good from time to time to save something and to take a closer look how it is on the screen. And you see we have the examples and nothing else in. There is a placeholder as we remember, but you can't see this yet. So let's add some information in JavaScripting. If we want to show data, we want to have data. We create this in this example as global variables. The more you know about JavaScripting itself, the better you will understand whether it's a good way or a bad way to do it this way. To show something, you need the data. In this case, we create the data as fixed data here in uh, the JavaScripting. We have to hand over this into an array and we set options to nothing so we don't select any options this is the easiest way to do okay now you want to see something this is how to do this we use the document ready function from JavaScript so everything's loaded this at this time to create the chart it's located on the placeholder, this one. It uses the data coming here and right now empty options. Save and have a look at this. Refresh. It's done. Float itself created a legend, XY legend, and anything else it could do on the data it got right now. In next lesson you will see how to add more lines, how to add different graph types and how to create a legend. Thanks for listening now.